Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Clash Royale episode. Now today, I'm gonna be bringing you something really awesome. Now, for a long while now, I've been trying so hard to save 500 gems for a legendary chest and recently, well, I was stuck at 499. There was a legendary chest in the shop and I really wanted it, but I couldn't get that one gem before the time expired. They refused to give me it. So, we're back today and this is the deck I've been using the whole time and the other deck I'm I have plans for it but anyway let's get this chest opened up and let's see what we're gonna get 500 gems down the drain just for this one card what will it be and it's oh no it's it's Sparky guys I'm not the biggest fan of Sparky but I'm gonna get help I need help to make this card work I'll use it but yeah welcome back to another episode again so today we're going to be using a deck I've been working on for quite a few weeks actually. I haven't used the account that much. I've been focusing on my main account, trying to get it into Legendary Arena and well you'll see how that goes later on. But anyway, back to the match. Now I dropped a Valkyrie. Now when you drop a Valkyrie, te people tend to think you're going to drop a Hawk because well Chief Pattern is Trifecta deck, you can expect that much from anyone now. And it is terrifying, so you gotta save your elixir to be ready for that hog. Thankfully there isn't a hog. So, that cannon... It'll just have to remain waiting. But yeah, I'm trying to be conservative as, po as conservative as possible. Oh my god, what is wrong with my voice today? People help me out here. Yeah, so... Apparently he has a Sparky too, and if you look carefully, he has got Log, Fire Spirits, Zap, and Mega Minion now. Oh, and the Valkyrie. Valkyrie at level six. She has those one Sparky shot. And look, we also got a shot in the Musketeer now. Usually I'd say we didn't do so good, but considering all odds, how the push went before, I'd say we came out on top of that. We conserved a lot of elixir. Now it's time to exercise that elixir advantage and see what we can do. So we got a giant Sparky and an Iceberg. Now at this point, he's probably like. Oh my god, he's so ahead of me, but yeah, anything's possible. I just play really cheap, and so is he now. I guess he realized playing cheap is the best way to go, but not this time. He paired up the Sparky with the Fire Spirit, so it was a pretty good zap, honestly. Who wouldn't zap that? I tend to do the same now, but it's mostly because I'm afraid of minions just tearing through the Sparky, and it's, it's just sad, man, it's just sad. So, double elixir now, and I really want so by giant, so I just threw out the ice for it, just, just for namesake. So, we got the giant going, and we're gonna back it up with a Sparky. Now, he drops a Sparky as well, but little does he know I'm back at 6 elixir. Well, he's got no tank, so he's kind of surprised by this. Look how many tro troops I'm gonna be getting down here. I got my mini pecker, musketeer, Sparky, and it's just rip giant there. But also a giant on my part too, my, my giant couldn't make it. Well, at least we we're gonna get this Sparky down, right? Right? Come on, don't fail me. And yeah, we did. So, now the Sparky is acting like a meat shield for the Musketeer, which is honestly not such a bad thing. I, I don't mind that. And the cannon. Now his cannon is out of rotation, so what will he do? What can he possibly do? And I'm just having this big surge of elixir, so I, I said let's just keep on pushing forward. Now he refuses to give up, honestly, I admire people for doing this because I tried to do the same and it's just sad if you just quit for no reason. But we got another giant come down, yes, another one. <laughs> but sadly, yeah, his Pocky, oh my god, his, his Pocky just wrecked everything. So good game, it is a good game, honestly, I was having fun. And he finally has a decent push coming down and, well, what can we do to stop it, honestly? We got Zap, the Mini Pekka. Yeah, the Mini Pekka saved our lives there, actually. If the Sparky didn't turn away, it probably would have hit the Musketeer or my Sparky, actually. But yeah, we're not giving up. Time's running short, but I cannot give in. Now we got two Musketeers, Sparky, and he's cancelling it out. But. Little does he realize the giant was actually the real threat there. And we came in, uh, we came out on top with the one second, one crown victory. 
Hope you all enjoyed the video. <laughs> it was full of clutches. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Do leave a like and subscribe. Peace out, everyone.